sometimes you get these little pieces of jewelry and like this little earring here that has almost no gold value whatsoever, but uh, is pretty heavily encrusted in diamonds. And uh, although they're normally pretty low quality diamonds, in this case, they're actually nice, bright little diamonds. And uh, can really be pretty shocking. Uh, your return on some of these, because it's far better. Ouch! Than just the gold return. Now if I'm cleaning some of this stuff and I come across the piece. that I'm not sure is a diamond, I will set that aside and leave the stone in it until I have had a chance to verify that it is a diamond. Normally with the, with eye and with a, a diamond tester. I don't want to get a bunch of zircons mixed in with my salvaged diamonds and or gemstones because that will make them nearly unsellable. I mean your buyer is not going to want to uh, go through and proof out the diamonds. He's going to want to know he or she is going to want to know what she or he is getting is uh, the real deal. Really suffer on your return. So you need to be able to tell people that you're trying to remarket this stuff too. Uh, that they are diamonds and not just, uh, you know, 20% zircons or Whatever. I tried to do some of that, uh, was rushing on my cleaning. And so now I take special effort to keep fake stones out of the real stones and to keep damaged stones out of the real stones. And it really pays off in the return. And also helps with 